What's good, what's good, what's good, beautiful people? Of course you know who it is, Dr. Mike, back again, once again, with another classic, classic video for you guys today. So, you know, I've been in Davao for about a couple of days now, and I can honestly say that there are some things that I have really grown uh, aware of since the last time that I've been here. Number one thing that I've really grown aware of is the amount of police presence here inside of the Philip, more specifically in Davao City, the police presence here in uh, Davao City. Um, you know, some people would say, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? For me, I have absolutely no problem with it. I mean, I think that it does, in my opinion, give foreigners a sense of security, a sense of knowing, and a sense of, uh, you know, satisfaction knowing that there are, that there is a good police presence in here. Unless your ass is here doing something illegal, I don't really believe there is a reason why you should even remotely feel scared or you know remotely feel how can I say this you know like you're like you're in danger because you see the actual police around it is not like it is in the United States of course people of my melanin probably don't have a fear of cops but you know people are definitely uh, conscientious of their behavior and the way that they are around the police but you know I, I normally wouldn't have that issue uh, so I try to keep myself and keep my nose clean very very well and hopefully I don't get in any trouble like that but moving along and moving forward you know my dad did say something very very interesting to me that kind of uh, caught my attention the other day when we were talking he said that uh, he said he never thought that he would see the day that the ISIS flag would fly anywhere in the Philippines, more specifically in the Mindanao region. By that I mean, you remember the whole ISIS situation there in um, just past Cagayan de Oro in um, Iligan. You know, that whole situation that was probably a year or two ago when it happened, he never thought that he would see the day. And he thinks that, you know, that does necessarily raise awareness and raise flags, you know, red flags as foreigners living in Davao City and stuff. You know, maybe you should be conscientious about the area. But of course, you know, me, I got a hard ass head and a big ass head, so I'll never listen because, you know, I love Davao and I told you guys that 100% of the time and I'll never choose any other place but Davao. Yeah, Manila's cool and, you know, places in Cebu are all right. But, you know, Davao, in my opinion, is generally the place that I perceive to be a place that I can call home. You know, I never really had any problems the whole 10 years I was here before. Thank God. Knock on wood. There's wood over there, so I'll knock on it later. <laughs> but, you know, I, I understand that there are some reservations for other foreigners that are looking to make the trip here to uh, Davao City. But... I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a plane going by. But I want you to understand that, um, you know, you don't have to be in fear of traveling to these areas that are predominantly Muslim. You know, I know Davao and the Mindanao region in general is predominantly Muslims, and a lot of people are in fear of, like, bombs and terrorist attacks and stuff like that. And in my opinion, I'll be honest with you guys, as long as you remain in the city area, like stay within the city limits and, you know, just little small areas outside of the city where, you know, it's still considered to be a part of Davao City, I think you guys will be fine. I can't really vouch for any other area outside of Davao City with the exception of, you know, Tagum going towards uh, Davao del Norte. And uh, I've been to Surigao del Sur, that's pretty good, but that's like four or five hours away but any area within the general vicinity of Davao I can honestly vouch for you know as being a pretty pretty uh, safe place because I've been to those places before so I don't want you guys to be alarmed about the whole idea of you know the police presence in Davao should you come here you should actually look at it as if it is a way of keeping us safe as foreigners and of course keeping the people the local Davaoinos safe as well so you know, without further ado, it's pretty much in the evening time here. I had planned to go do something today, but the rain, the ulan, 
has definitely uh, put a damper on that plan so we'll definitely have to pick that up on another day but when we get there you'll definitely see it and you'll definitely enjoy the treat so Dr. Mike's officially out uh, at least Nako Pa'alam which means I am going now oh, bye bye as always I love you guys Mahal kita mabuhay Ay, check me out real quick check me <laughs> yeah that's actually her ew she put it but I love the decor guys look at that little dream catcher shit I kind of thought that that was a good background for the particular video Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will definitely catch you guys on the next one. Um, again, guys, don't come to Davao and start being all nervous and shit because you see Popo around. As long as you're not in any illegal activity, everything should be A-OK. -okay. Smile, be friendly, say what's up to them, and they'll say what's up back. And, you know, go on about your business. All right. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm here enjoying my time here in Davao City. And uh, I'll see you guys when I see you.